So you're here because you want to know how to get your music heard and not be ignored as a creator, producer, and maybe even an artist. Number one, find a local rapper with a following and offer 10 to 20 of your dopest beats. Look, I don't care where you are, what city you are, there's a rapper on the rise right now, hungry, waiting for the right producer to work with. And guess what? That producer can be you. Listen, go to the shows in your city, any concerts, wherever you can find or connect with the artists you want to work with. Introduce yourself and let them know you would love to work with him or her. Tell them you love their music, which you should, because who wants to collab with someone they don't dig? Someone who, you know, you don't like their music. You don't want this to be something fake. You want all of this should be organic. You want this to be real. You want to have a real connection with the person you're working with. Let them know you have a couple of beats that you believe you can offer them that will benefit them. And please don't tell them to check your website. (laughs) Don't do that. Don't do that. Have something in your hand so you can leave with them. You leave with them your music and your contact information and let them know you follow up with them to see where you guys can go with the rest of, you know, the relationship or where you can go from this. See if you can meet them in the upcoming session. You know, maybe they will invite you to a studio they'll be at. You never know once they listen to your music. Now, not all the time will this work, but if your music is any good, someone in that camp will hear it and they will want to connect with you. Even if the artist shoot it down, someone hears that track, they're going to be like, okay, dude working with something. He's nice. People can recognize talent when someone is hungry and ready to work. People can, they can sense that. Make sure your music is copyrighted and you retain full publishing if you decide to let them have the track. But even if you charge an upfront fee, make sure your publishing rights, you own your publishing rights, okay? Unless the deal is that good, like they paying you a nice amount of sum up front, you know, and still then you want to negotiate the publishing rights, okay? Don't allow your eagerness to work with that artist cause you to sign a bad contract that you will pay for for the rest of your life. Don't get yourself into something you can't get out of. Before you sign any contracts, you should let your entertainment lawyer check it out before you, know, you sign anything. That's first off, you know, that's rule number one. 